PRCI, we're at a unique spot in our history. Uh, we were, we say we're 60 plus years old, but really about 15 years old. We started really as a nonprofit independently in 1999. From then to today, we really made the basics of really the organization, and now we're ready to go to the next step. Pipeline Research Council International, PRCI, has a rich history. But the next step that Cliff Johnson was talking about during our 2015 interview was a real window into PRCI's future, a new 30,000 square foot research center in Houston. It's a first of a kind research center led by the pipeline industry. Eight and a half acres, 30,000 square foot research facility, the largest inline inspection pull test facility ever built in the industry. 600 flawed pipeline samples, the largest database of real world samples ever assembled in one place. The new technology center represents a very important cog in the wheel and so do new members at PRCI who believe that membership in this organization is simply essential and a very good investment. We look at PRCI from a financial point of view, so we think about the members putting a dollar in and getting a dollar out. On a very conservative basis, we've seen a four to one return on investment from all of our members across the board. High as though it's 25 to one. You'd ask, well, how does that happen? Well, if you're putting in $100,000 and you're able to match it with 45 to 75 other companies, you've already magically seen the financial opportunity. But it's just sheer dollars, just the sheer dollars. If you bring in collaborative research and find the answers together, not only do you find the answer for your company, but you also then leverage the opportunity to improve and change standards and regulations based off an industry consensus document. This is what we're trying to get to. So when you get your biggest bang for your buck, it's because you put in some money, but also get a lot back in return, not only financially, but also from a uh, regulatory and industry perspective as well. Probably the main benefits we get are the, the benefit of being able to leverage our research dollars. For every dollar we spend on R&D, we get um, with PRCI, we get twenty dollars worth of research. So that's a huge value in, in terms of leverage. GDF Suez sees uh, a great interest in uh, having the opportunity of leveraging uh, resources uh, and having access to collaborative uh, research and development uh, results, and also having uh, access to a very wide network of other companies, being able to informally benchmark with them. PRCI has been on the cutting edge of so many research projects over the years that have changed the way pipelines are built, maintained, and operated across the globe. PRCI members are very active. There's a lot going on in PRCI, uh, dozens of projects that have relevancy. Phil says that relevancy often becomes crystal clear at the many meetings and research exchanges that PRCI hosts, like this one in Houston, in which key vendors could show their cutting-edge products, and members could get together and share cutting-edge ideas. PRCI brings many things together. It brings the academia, the consultants, all the pipeline operators, and that larger forum I think is very valuable. You sit in a technical committee meeting and you've got a range of experience from young people to, uh, to the gray hairs uh, that have been participating for a long type, time like me and uh, there's always somebody there. If you've got an issue and it might not even be on a PRCI project related issue but there's somebody there that you can say well have you seen this before? Bounce those ideas around. It, it's that type of uh, exchange that isn't directly part of PRCI, but PRCI provides that opportunity. Uh, just, I can't say enough about it. But I personally think it's critical for the, the uh, career development of my young engineers, encourage them to, to, uh, to, to attend, and not just attend, which is part of it, but participate, because you learn so much more by participating in the, in the projects rather than just absorbing the content. Mark Piazza of Colonial Pipeline has a unique perspective, having worked in leadership roles at PRCI before moving to Colonial. He says the knowledge bank created by decades of PRCI research is so beneficial to PRCI members. Access to large, the largest library of pipeline research that you can access if you're not, if, as a member, that non-members don't have the ability to extract that, that knowledge base. I mean, it's huge. I said, we, we I couldn't tell you how many of our programs, manuals, and documents are based on the outcomes of PRCI research. A, a substantial amount of them are. 
The broad scope of specific research projects is also critical to PRCI members, such as Trans Canada, which spends millions on its R&D, but really values sharing big research projects with fellow PRCI members. Here's an example of that. We build a lot of tools, inline inspection tools, NDT tools, um, NDE tools, uh, that is non-destructive testing, and uh, in the ditch tools and so on. And those are very multi-million dollar projects, um, very big projects. Um, so those have to be developed with others. Uh, again, because um, you get support from everybody, you can test it on different systems, you can get data from everybody and share that data, so it's almost impossible for one operator to develop that level of tool. Carrie Chekwich of Spectra Energy says Spectra has benefited from scores of PRCI research projects, including one on ultrasonic meters. It showed they just did not need to be recalibrated as much as originally thought. That PRCI research project has recurring benefits to Spectra's bottom line. We've been able to reduce the recalibration frequency, which has uh, substantially reduced the, the operating and maintenance costs in our company. Uh, I can say somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $100,000 just in Canada per year, every year. There is a great opportunity in PRCI and the member companies uh, to experience that old adage of drinking out of a fire hose. And when you look at the array of papers that are presented, uh, not just in our own meetings, but at industry conferences, you see just a vast set of things. Uh, and if, if anybody's interested in really developing a technical skill set, uh, they can go pretty far pretty quickly in these organizations. PRCI is so many things to so many people and organizations, but if there's one thing that Cliff Johnson thinks and talks about a lot, it's the future leaders of pipeline research, many of whom will learn at PRCI's Technology Development Center and learn by being members of this organization. The industry as a whole for probably 10 years, maybe even longer, has been really worried about the next generation, where they're going to come from, how do we get involved with them, what are we doing to help educate them. At PRCI, one of the best things we have is a great opportunity to bring in these young professionals to learn and to grow through the research programs and leadership roles they may not be able to have their own company to bring new knowledge back in. Also, these young professionals can come in and meet some of the legends in the field. We have some of the smartest and brightest people in the industry who are willing to openly share and train those individuals. So for them to come in and be able to be part of the organization quickly, they can learn a lot very rapidly. PRCI, always changing, growing, improving, making our world a better place through research and collaboration. We hope you'll join us.